Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel if you've been here before and if you're new here, welcome along. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the power output levels of the Zygu X6100. Advertised as a 5 and 10 watt QRP radio, 5 watts on battery power and 10 watts on external power. We're going to put that to the test today. We're going to hook it up to a meter. We're going to run it into a dummy load to get a true and fair reading. This may be of use to somebody who's looking into buying one of these radios who wants to see what the radio is doing power wise. So I hope this video is of some use to you. With that being said, let's get on with the video. The equipment being used on this test very quickly are as follows. The Zygu is plugged into the Zatagi Mod 203W, SWR and power meter. We have it set on the 10 watt setting. Then that goes off to the Zatagi Mod DL50 dummy load. So nothing should, signal wise, should get out of this room. The first test will be using the internal battery. So we're running on battery power at the moment, as you can see here on the top, 7.7 .7 volts. Battery has been fully charged. The TX power is limited at five watts now because we're running on the internal power. We are on the FM portion of the 10 meter band. And like I said, we're on five watts at the moment. Now the advertised power output is five watts. So let's just see if we get anywhere near. We are looking at this side of the meter, the watt meter. So I've got it set to 10 watts, like I said, and there you can see. So I'm just going to do a quick key up now and see what it is actually doing. M7 MMC test, M7 MMC test, one, two, three, four. So as you will have seen, that was just over three watts, probably about three and a half watts. So on FM, it's doing three and a half watts. Switching over now to USB, to single sideband, we are on the SSB portion of 10 meters. Again, we're gonna give it another go. So um, apologies in advance for the whistle, but I'll give a call out and then I'll give a whistle to see what the peak is. M7 MMC test, M7 MMC test. As you will have seen, it peaked just below three, which is, to be honest, expected. So now we'll try on external power. Back on FM, on the FM portion of 10 meters. And again, we are now plugged into the external power source. As you can see, I plugged it into my power supply. Now we should be able to change the TX power to 10 watts. So there we go. Now, as you will see, 10 watts. So let's see how close to 10 watts we will get. And as you can see, we've got a nice healthy input of power, 13.6 volts. So let's um, give it a test. M7 MMC test, M7 MMC test, one, two, three, four. We were getting eight watts there on FM, so that's pretty damn good. So eight watts on FM on external power. Now let's try SSB. Okay, lastly, SSB, again, 10 watts of power, output power, TX power. And we're looking at this meter once again. So here we go. M7 MMC test, M7 MMC test. Peaking at eight, again, when I whistled, but on normal voice, it's about three to four watts. Again, quite expected. Really, there isn't much difference between FM and SSB in power output. So just a quick overview of that on battery power on FM and SSB, it's about three watts. On an external power source, you're gonna be looking at power up to eight watts. So not too bad at all. 
So that is it for this video. I hope this video is of some help to you. You might be in the market for a new QRP rig, or you might be looking in particular at getting an X6100. And you want to know the output power, what it does. And I hope this fulfills that need. If it has been of some help, please do consider dropping a like below. If you are new to the channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. It would be very much appreciated. So until the next one, I'm going to wish you all the best 7-3 and stay safe. And I'll see you next time.